Hello and welcome to the video. So as the title suggests, this will be my last video for the foreseeable future. And I just wanted to take the time to talk about my experience with making art videos and whether or not I think it was worth it. This will be a bit of a stream of consciousness, but I will be circling around the theme of what it's like to make art videos. Just to get any tension out of the way, I'll say that nothing dramatic has happened. The reason for my quitting videos is rather mundane, actually. But before I get too deep into that discussion, I wanted to briefly talk about the speed draw that is the background for this video. So this footage is actually two years old and was originally meant for my very first YouTube video. But because I was an utter noob back then and didn't know what the heck I was doing, I ended up scrapping that video. The reason why is that the total recording time it took me to do this drawing came out to be almost 20 hours. And back then I had no idea how to edit down footage and how much I could speed footage up and have it still come out good. And 20 hours is quite a lot to edit, so I decided to do a different, quicker drawing instead. That very first video is still up on this channel and I'm sure it is absolutely cringe central. I dare not watch it. But luckily I kept the footage for this drawing and I find it very fitting to use here for what will potentially be my last video. The drawing is also a spooky Halloween creature, and so it's extra fitting for the time that this video is getting uploaded. Now onto the topic at hand, which no, is not Halloween themed, unless you want to contemplate the horror of giving up a years long project that you put many, many, many hours into. Spooky. So yes, as I said before, this is probably my last video. If not for good, then for a very long time. And the purpose of this talk is to just discuss my experience with making art videos. Now this discussion won't be about YouTube specifically. I know YouTube has many, many flaws. I've watched plenty of creators talk about their issues with the platform. But my channel is teeny tiny. As of writing this, I only have about 50 subscribers and my most watched video has 550 views. And so this channel never really found the kind of reach necessary to start seeing those very YouTube specific problems. No, I'm really just focusing this discussion purely on what it was like making videos as an artist. And being a small channel is totally fine, and not the reason why I'm quitting. The real reason is simply, it takes too dang long to make videos. I have a full-time job, and the only real time I have to work on my art projects is a few hours in the evening on work days. I devote more time on the weekends, but even though I literally have no social life, weekends just always seem to fill up with other things chores, running errands, doing stuff with family, or just plain relaxing. So in the evenings on work days is when I get the most done with my art. And when it comes to making videos, there are just so many steps to producing a video. First, you have to do the drawing. Second, you have to edit down the footage, which for me involves cutting out all the times I'm zooming in and out, long pauses, or editing down sections where I'm doing the same thing for a long period of time. Third is the audio stage, which for me involves writing the script, reading the script, sometimes multiple times, and editing my audio to cut out sentence rereads, long pauses, etc. Then I like to add music to my videos, so I have to find the right tracks and add them in, which always takes longer than I'd like. Then everything needs to be stitched together, adding in video transitions, photos, text boxes as needed, etc. Then finally, I have to make the thumbnail. All of this typically takes me about three weeks of work, and only about a third of that time is actually drawing. And man, there's a reason why so many of the successful YouTube creators pay somebody else to edit their videos for them, because of the sheer amount of time and effort that it takes. And it's one of those things that just takes time. There's no silver bullet that will edit your footage down faster. That is, at least if you want the video to be good. And I am absolutely not at the point in my life where I'm willing to pay somebody to edit my videos for me. And now, first of all, I actually don't hate the process of editing videos. While it can be tedious at times, I do legitimately enjoy seeing it all come together into a single video. I like seeing my process of doing a drawing put into a speed draw, I like talking about it, I like finding just the right music to go with the theme of the video, I like figuring out fun and creative ways to introduce my videos. I also like figuring out what would make a good video in general and making challenges for myself that test my creativity. While it's not all sunshine and roses the entire time, uh, I do enjoy it. But again, it just takes so long. <laughs> I've been making videos for about two years now, actually pretty much exactly two years, and this will be my 21st video. So I had a rate of about a video a month, and when I first started off and saw how much effort it would take to produce just one video, I was hoping that as I made more and got used to the process, it would speed up. And while I do think I sped up a little bit, I don't really see myself getting faster at this point. It just is what it is. 
And when the only time you have to work on this kind of stuff is a few hours in the afternoon, five days a week, your options are pretty limited. And the thing is, if all I ever wanted to do was make art videos, then I'm sure I'd be happy as a clam. I'd probably be working on my next video every single day. But that's the problem. I have so many other art projects and pieces that I want to make, but making videos has become practically the only thing that I do anymore. Which you wouldn't know it by looking at my channel and seeing a rate of one video a month for two years, but I already talked about why that's the case. But for the majority of the last two years, I was actually okay with videos taking up almost all my time. I really wanted to see if I could grow a channel, and if I learned one thing from watching a bunch of other artists talk about their journey on YouTube, it's that consistent uploads are key. And so even though it took me almost a whole month to produce a single video, I was really trying to keep myself on a steady schedule, which meant one video a month. And for a while, that was fine. But then lately, in the last couple of months or so, something kind of switched in me. And I found myself fantasizing about all the other art I could be making if I wasn't spending so much time with videos. Suddenly, the three week long process I was fine with for almost two years became tiresome. I was starting to feel creatively starved because I just wasn't making that much art really. Because two out of those three weeks was just editing video. For the one week or so between making videos, I did try to work on other projects. But frankly, it was frustrating that I was limited to just one to two weeks to work on something else because I had this constant pressure of, well, if this takes too long, it will eat into my time to make my video for next month. And not to mention that sometimes I just wanted to spend that time relaxing because I was feeling a little bit burnt out. Or I wanted to play a video game at that time instead of drawing. I was also looking at the quality of my art, and while I'm relatively happy with the art I've been making for my videos, there's no doubt in my mind that I could be making higher quality art if I didn't have the pressure of the screen capture recording my every move, and the constant reminder that the longer I take to do a drawing, the longer it will take to edit that footage down later. Before I continue, to emphasize the point I'm trying to make, I'll run through all the other kinds of art and projects that I have ongoing that I want to spend more time on. First, I've been getting into making surface patterns, and I want to make more and get better. Second, I'm getting back into cross-stitching, and I want to make my own cross-stitch patterns. So far, I've made one, but unfortunately it's huge and will take me ages to stitch even if I'm working on it full-time. Third, I'm interested in making designs that would look cute as stickers or t-shirts. And as for more long-running projects, well, last year I made a video talking about how I wanted to draw every bird in the world, of which there are a lot of birds and it will take me forever to do them all. I have an idea that has actually been with me since high school to make a compendium style series of creature designs that just might maybe look good in an art book. The creature compendium style videos I've made on this channel are very close to that idea, and in fact was actually me practicing the idea for the real thing. And then sometimes I just want to draw cool or weird animals, either as a cool design or do a spread of all the species of a certain family. I also have an idea for a comic that still may never happen, but with how much time I'm taking just to make videos, that comic will definitely never happen if I keep going the way I'm going now. And that's not even to mention that I'd like to spend more time practicing, doing studies, and getting better at stuff like anatomy. Ugh. Now I think I got them all, although there might be a few more projects or ideas kicking around in my head that I failed to mention. That's a lot of stuff I want to work on, and while, like I mentioned earlier, I give myself one to two weeks between making videos to work on these other projects, the sheer magnitude of all the things that I want to do meant I was barely scratching the surface on these projects. I basically had to pick one out of all the different things I wanted to do to work on during the time between videos, and before I was back on the grind of making another video. And unfortunately, none of these projects I listed really make for good video fodder, except kind of the Creature Compendium project. And making videos was just one more project on that pile, and the subject for my videos, at least what I thought would make for interesting watchable videos, was doing little challenges and drawing a bunch of little creature designs. And don't get me wrong, I legitimately enjoyed doing the drawings for these videos. That wasn't what was becoming a burden. The burden was, as I said already, the amount of time it was taking up. And I started to feel like my video making, while equally one of my precious art project babies, was becoming a bit of a cuckoo and pushing out all my other art project babies. And alas, I think it's time to force out that cuckoo and give all my other ideas time to breathe. It's funny, I was wondering recently, how did I ever think I could do all of this? How did I think I had the time to run a YouTube channel with all this other stuff I wanted to make on top of having a full-time job? And then I realized it wasn't always this way. You see, two to three years ago, I decided I wanted to get more serious with my art. Drawing has always been my number one pastime since I was a small child, 
but despite that, I only ever really drew when I felt like it. Which was all the time when I was a kid, but once late high school and college hit, I just didn't have as much time for it, and I only really drew when inspiration struck. And even then, I hardly ever finished anything, either because I didn't have the skills to complete it or just didn't have the motivation to finish. Well, two to three years ago, sometime between 2021 and 2022, I think, I made the decision that I wanted to improve my skills and push myself to make more art. Not going to lie, part of my goal was to maybe one day be able to go full-time as a self-employed artist, but at the time, I was nowhere near confident with my skills or my vision, frankly, to even think about going full-time. And my goal was to get myself to the point where maybe, just maybe, that was a possibility. And I had the idea to try my hand at a YouTube channel as a potential source of revenue way down the line. I understood it would take lots of time and patience for the channel to start making me any money, if that ever even happened. And I figured I might as well start now and use the channel as a means to both grow my art skill set and start putting in the hours of building a channel as early as I could. And I'm pretty sure at the time, the only other ongoing art project I had was that creature compendium idea I mentioned earlier. But that was kind of dead in the water, because while the idea was fully fleshed out, I was unsure about my art style or how I'd present these creature designs, and so I wasn't really working on that project regularly. But throughout the last two years, as I made more art, explored my style and vision, and got better, I slowly accumulated all these other ideas of what kind of art I wanted to make. But I never really had the chance to sink my teeth into them, because of how much effort I was putting into this channel. And I think I finally just reached the point where it's just not worth it to me to sacrifice all this time and effort into the channel, because I just feel like I won't be able to get to any of these other projects if I keep going like this. All that being said, I do mean it when I say I enjoyed making these videos, which is why I'm reluctant to say that I won't be making videos ever again. I'm just putting it aside to give myself back all this time to work on other stuff. Maybe in the future, if I find myself with more time on my hands, I'll pick up video making again. Okay, I just complained a lot about making videos. Now's the question. Was it all worth it? And honestly, I think that yes, it was. I don't regret the time that I spent on this channel, even if it was two years worth of effort that I'm putting aside. But it wasn't wasted effort, and I'm glad I can say that because I distinctly remember two years ago when I started this channel thinking that if this didn't work out and I decided to stop making videos for any reason, I didn't want to regret the time that I spent on it. And I really think that's the mindset that anyone going into starting a YouTube channel needs to have. You shouldn't want to do it unless you're going to have fun and learn as you go. I can honestly say that I feel like a better artist after working on this channel, for several different reasons. First, the regular schedule I put myself on forced me to come up with something new to draw every month. That's way more than what I was drawing before I started this channel, and I'm certain I've improved my skills just by the act of drawing more often. Second, forcing myself to come up with new video topics and what kind of drawings would make for interesting videos really helped me stretch my creativity. I really like the turning X thing or concept into a creature type of challenges that I was doing near the end here, and I want to continue doing that on my own, even if it's not for a video. And finally, figuring out a core theme for this channel really helped me figure out what I'm about as an artist. And it's funny saying that because I've always drawn animals and creatures, even as a kid. That was always my muse, but also there are so many different ways to draw animals and creatures that until I started making this channel, I'm not sure I had that much of a direction in my art. I was kind of always just drawing what I thought was cool at the time, which yes, was always some sort of creature. But beyond that, there was no real connection or theme. And I still have a bit of a hard time putting words to it, but I feel a lot more connected to real life animals right now. Despite the fact that a lot of my videos are drawing fictional creatures, I find that they're all based on real animals. Like drawing cloud rabbits, combining snails with other animals, turning different species of fish into merfolk, that kind of stuff. And in a way, doing all of that has made me want to just draw regular real life animals also. Did that make sense? It makes sense to me. Whereas before I started this channel, I just had a vague sense of, I like creatures. Now I feel more like, I like animals and making creatures based on animals. And I feel like with the time that I'm giving back to myself, I can take that new sense of identity and run with it. Oh, also, at some point in the last two years, I really decided that I did not like drawing backgrounds. Actually, I think I've known that for a long time, but I never really knew what else to do for the background of my drawings, as I didn't really want my animals or creatures to be swimming in a sea of white. Making videos actually made me think about what I wanted to do for the background of the recordings while I drew, because I thought it would be more interesting to look at a speed draw where the background was some sort of pattern or texture rather than a blank canvas. And that line of thinking got me into making different backgrounds for my drawings that, at least I think, look better than just a white background. So that's nice. 
And if you want to talk about non-art related skills I learned while making videos, well, I now know at least somewhat how to use a video editor. I'm certainly not a pro, but I can now comfortably edit down footage, add an audio, and mesh it all together into, at least what I think, is a decently watchable video. I've also greatly improved my speaking skills. At least, skills speaking into a microphone and recording myself. Let me tell you, when I first started making videos, I was so embarrassed recording myself talking. And it wasn't even that warranted, because I live alone, there was no one around to hear me recording myself, and if I didn't like the audio, I could have just deleted the file. But no, I was cripplingly embarrassed, to the point where, for my first few videos, it took me two to three sessions just to get myself to say words into the mic. I would sit down, put on my headset, and just struggle for literally hours just to speak. It took me a whole learning curve just to realize that I needed a script to read off of, and that really helped. But I would still find myself sitting down to record and just have an overwhelming sense of dread and desire to not be doing this. But you know what I did? If I just couldn't get myself to talk or say the words right, I'd walk away and come back the next day and try again. And I'd force myself to at least try every day until I was able to do it. And now, two years later, I can sit down and immediately start talking into my mic without any hesitation. Because I'm used to it, and I've learned that there's nothing to be embarrassed about. And surely that skill and confidence has helped me somewhere else in my life. So to wrap this all up, I just wanted to say that if anyone watching this is thinking about starting an art YouTube channel, Despite the challenges that you will definitely face, I highly recommend giving it a try. You'll learn a lot, and even if the channel doesn't work out, I'm sure you'll come out the other side a better artist. Although, starting a YouTube channel does come with some caveats to keep in mind, and one is that you just cannot judge yourself based on how many views or comments your videos get. It is not personal, and it means nothing about who you are as a person or an artist. If you truly do want to try making art videos and putting them on YouTube, you have to basically go in knowing that you won't get that much engagement. And if you do get engagement, it's a pleasant surprise. And you have to know that you'll have fun with it. Make videos that you want to make, making the art that makes you happy. And I highly encourage you to go into it knowing that if it doesn't work out and you decide to quit, that you won't regret the time that you spent on it. Or if you're an artist who wants to improve your art but just abhors the idea of running a YouTube channel, which is completely fair. I recommend you try to pick up some sort of project that puts you on a schedule and forces you to focus your artistic vision and stretch your thinking. Figure out how long it takes for you to make a new piece as part of this project, and then try to keep to a schedule where you make a new piece regularly. Once a month, once a week, whatever works for you. And try to make the project broad so that you're not just making the same thing over and over again, but also with a narrow enough focus so that the pieces all fit together as a collection. Take my channel as an example. A broad description of my channel is simply creature design. But in practice, the videos fell into two categories. Either a creature compendium type of concept where I describe in detail the life and behavior of a unique creature, or smaller challenges where I turn some sort of object or concept into a creature. Like dragons designed after drinks, randomizing animal body parts, animal fusions, etc. In other words, if you find yourself kind of listlessly drawing whatever comes to mind, but find yourself not really improving much, and you want to improve, Taking on a project that forces you to figure out your artistic vision and make pieces that fit that vision, and also forcing yourself to make pieces on a regular schedule, does wonders. But the most important thing, I think, is to make art that you want to make. Design your project based on your own interests and artistic love, and don't draw stuff just because you think others will like it. I personally love animals and creatures, and so I, outside of a study here and there, will keep drawing animals and creatures and probably nothing else. Oh, and one final tidbit of advice that's on theme for this video is that don't feel bad or ashamed for putting down a project, even if you put a lot of time into it. I'm not saying you should give up on your work, but also don't fall into the sunk cost fallacy. If you find that the project just doesn't work for you anymore or just isn't feasible with your current situation or desires, there's no shame in putting that project aside. I can guarantee that you learned something from that project and that it wasn't a waste of time. I really hope that helps somebody out there. I am not a teacher, nor do I aspire to be a teacher, but I just wanted to take this time to talk about my art journey and what I've learned from making videos. If anyone who is watching wants to keep seeing my art, I am most active on Blue Sky right now. Same username as my YouTube channel, Nebbardila. I do also have a Tumblr, but I'm not very active over there. I kind of treat that as a dumping ground for my art and leave. Of course, there is no obligation to follow me. If anyone is still around at this point, I greatly appreciate the watch. And if anyone watching right now is a person who has subscribed to my channel, left comments, or given me likes, or just lurked watching my videos, I wanted to give a sincere thank you. I know I said earlier that you can't really expect engagement on stuff like this, 
but when it does happen, it's wonderful and super validating. So thank you. Well, that's it. I'll leave you to watch the rest of the speed draw, however much is left. And one final big thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.